Hello everybody, I'm Ettor Panascia, I'm the Chief of Anesthesia of the Cardiovascular and Thoracic Department of the University Hospital in Catania. An episode, I think it was 12 years ago, impressed me a lot. Uh, a woman, uh, the day after the operation, uh, told me that she didn't feel any pain during the night, she was very comfortable, but uh, she could tell me everything happened in the operatory room. She was able to repeat me everything I said to the nurse and every, every dialogue I had with the surgeon. And that was for me terrible, really terrible. And uh, I was convinced I have to adopt something in my operatory room to avoid awareness. And since I, I've been using uh, Entropy, I have uh, ever had any uh, awareness in my operatory rooms. The other thing is that uh, I was convinced that uh, when the patient's uh, arousal from anesthesia, too many times people uh, told me about the diplopia. So I tried to have something that uh, could tell me how. Uh, my patient was in terms of coagulation during the operation at the end of the operation. I found that uh, kinomyography was the, uh, the best way to respond to my needs because uh, mm, you don't have to use another device, you are all incorporated in one monitor. For the nurse it's very easy to use it. The most important things I could learn with the use of uh, NMT is that uh, uh, every neuromuscular blocking agent metabolized in a different way in a different patients. So, too many times I look at the patient's breathing and uh, uh, moving his arm, but it was, it was on three response on 10 or four. Does it mean that the clinical signs are not uh, able to make us know where the patient is in terms of depth of, of uh, neuromuscular uh, block. If you don't measure, you don't know if your patient is on uh, post-residual coagulation. Uh, the other thing is that uh, you use a lot of peripheral block. We combine it with a general anesthesia in a balanced uh, way. And uh, for us it's very important to know if the block is, has got a full coverage of uh, our uh, analgesic stimuli and uh, using a, a system like a, uh, surgical plexismographic index permit us to know exactly where the patient is. If you have, we have to add uh, also very little quantity of uh, opioid, of remifentanil, for example, because a part of the body is not fully recovered by our block. So for us, SPI is um, a great parameter to, um, to be sure our patient don't feel pain. Of course, there are some tips and tricks like uh, vasoactive drug or vasoconstrictor because uh, maybe it can uh, give you a false uh, number. The last thing is that uh, I think you have to look at the trend uh, more than a single value. So, the most things we can monitorize, the best you can treat your patients. I suggest everybody to have a system in your operatory rooms that permit you to have a clear idea of the if your anesthetic plane is the right plane and if you uh, where you have been able to choose the right anesthetic agent for your patients and uh, to know if uh, your patient is in a deep neuromuscular blockade and if your patient is going to feel pain. It's a, the, of a great importance for us to know everything. So I suggest everybody to use something like this in your operatory room.